Welcome to Dunbar Academy Mailbag. We have another question to answer. This one's from Sharon. I have a four-year-old submissive lab. He now does not like dogs in his face and will correct, especially rambunctious puppies. However, he can amp his energy level and get in other dogs' faces and poke to play. When and how do I correct? Wow, this is a a when question and a how question. It's like, well done, Sharon. Um, and we ask the question, and as soon as we ask it, we invoke the maxim, if this is wrong, what is right? And we think, how can we reward the dog for being good? Now, one of the things that happens with dog-dog reactivity, and I'm assuming here that uh, the dog is not dangerous, it sounds like this has happened a number of times and the dog has probably um, snapped and what have you, um, which is totally normal for dogs, especially if it's a rambunctious, out of control puppy adolescent. Okay, certainly not with three month old pups that they have a puppy license to misbehave. An adult dog should be really you know, cool about it, but once they're four months old, the puppy license is canceled and they have to learn, show respect, be still, sit. Um, we have some wonderful videos of this on Dogstar Daily, hidden away somewhere, um, of a dog learning manners being taught by other dogs. Um, and correction, I certainly wouldn't do anything like, you know, leash jerk or shouting at the dog but I would correct verbally. The question is, are you going to punish, which is usually an aversive stimulus that reduces the frequency of behavior and eventually eliminates it, or correct? And to me, a correction is, yes, it stops the unwanted behavior, but it does it primarily by encouraging what you want. Now, when you look at a growl class or you look at people with reactive dogs, they never give any praise whatsoever when the dog's being good. When I used to teach my bad dog classes in, in Japan or my growl classes, um, people just don't praise. But the dog is only reactive. I used to time it in growl classes. Like for one dog, I say, well, after six hours, he's been reactive for 7.5 seconds. And you're calling him a reactive dog? That's so unrepresentative that you're defining him by one adjective for seven seconds of inappropriate behavior, whereas for five hours and 53 seconds, he's been non-reactive. You see, the problem is people are not praising the dogs when they're good. And this is what you got to do. And this is where, you know, I'm gonna chuck all the food treats out the window here, you know? Um, and I'm gonna give the dog a running commentary on play like I do in puppy class, when you have a dog that's just too rambunctious, he's playing over the top and fighting the other puppies. You know, when dogs are greeting other dogs, you know, when Zuzu greets other dogs on the street, I give a running commentary and I don't care if people think I'm stupid. I want her to know she's got praise for being good in case something bad ever happened because she used to be a play machine when we got, got her and she would hurtle towards dogs, and she's huge, and she's big, and she's fast, and it would frighten people and frighten dogs. So I talk her through it. And often when dogs are worried, it's because they don't know how to act. So tell them how to act. So you say, lab, sit. It's okay, you focus on me, good. It's a silly dog, I know, it's a crazy part. You sit and focus, good girl. Oh, you're being really good, good dog. I wouldn't use food because of the other dog. You don't know how that dog's gonna react. You use your voice. And if your dog now looks at the other dog, say, hey, 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 you focus on me. Yeah, that's it. Good dog focus, good dog. Oh, who's a good dog? Is a good dog? When the other dog goes, big praise, release your dog, pull out a tug toy. Okay, because the tug toy won't excite other dogs. And then you dog, the dog take it. It's a Labrador, tennis ball in your pocket. You know, you see other dogs sit, focus on the ball. You get the idea? So it's teaching the dog how to act when other dogs are around, because we tend to be blamers, always blaming the other dogs. You know, if it's a puppy it doesn't know yet, your dog can really help there. <clears throat> when we um, adopted Claude, this is what he was used for at the SPCA to teach 
out of control dogs, dogs that had over the top play styles. And he was so good at this. And we had a number of puppies stay. Spazzo, I remember a pit bull we took in at Christmas. This dog was out of control, man. And then Pencil, a Malinois. Um, these dogs were crazy and Claude calmed them. And you couldn't see what he was doing. There was no, well, no stop this. He just went still. Then he turned his head and looked at them. And that puppy just sat and calmed down. And seeing a good adult dog like that, you know, is really helpful for these young puppies. So focus on um, teaching her what to do, helping her out. Teach her to sit and look at you. <clears throat> we call this stimulus blocking. If she's sitting, she's not running around, further exciting the other dog. If she's looking at you, she can't look at the other dog and eyeball it. The other dog can't establish eye contact with her. And the other dog is learning, wow, that dog has a much bigger mission at hand. You know, yeah, that's the statement. Look, you are an insignificant worm. I am looking at my owner. And we resolve the problem that way. But it's rewarding the good behavior. You'll see this again and again with the answers to the questions. Dogs that pull on leash, dogs that sniff all the time, dogs that jump up. In this case, a dog that's very, very occasionally reactive with other dogs. You're not praising them when they're good. And they're good for 99.999% of the day. Praise. It's probably one of my biggest sadnesses in dogs that praise, the voice has disappeared. It got bumped out by food treats. And I was the person who introduced food lures and rewards to dog training. It wasn't meant to be instead of your voice. The voice is much better feedback because it's analog. Not only do you tell the dog you got it right, you can let it know how well you did. Good dog. Thank you. Always a good boy. Good dog. Yeah. Oh, hey. No. Yeah. Look at me. Thank you. It's okay to talk to your dogs like that. You know, and they learn so quickly, they, they, without even understanding the words, they are so good at interpreting our feelings and the tone of our voice that you can correct the problem and get the dog back on track as quickly as possible and reward the dog for getting it right. So it's how can I reward my dog for being good around other dogs? And then this so-called reactive problem is just going to disappear very quickly, Sharon. Thank you for the question. Thanks for watching this video. If you'd like to learn more, make sure you visit DunbarAcademy.com and check out our selection of free dog training and behavior courses. If you'd rather watch some more videos here on YouTube, click right over here or here. And if you want to watch our new videos as we post them, click here to subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell.